uh, welcome to our first online lecture on uh, microwave engineering uh, so in the last offline class i will just recall where we were we were studying uniform plane waves and we also want to study the effect of reflection so we considered a very simple scenario in which uh, electric field component of the em wave you know has is uh, having only one component along x direction magnetic field component is always perpendicular so we take uh, we take that as y direction h y and the direction of propagation is along the z direction so this is your x this is y and this is the z uh, so hence uh, some simple assumptions uh, so hx hz will be zero so will be ey and ez okay so only ex and hy components of electric field will be there uh, because uh, we are considering a plane wave whose phase is constant and as well as whose magnitude remains constant so uniform plane wave <coughs> so and the first derivative uh, hence the del ex upon del x will also be zero del ey upon uh, del ex upon del y also will be zero so their second derivative will be zero and we got a very simplified expression of wave equation like this okay so in fact in one dimension these wave equations become simple second derivative of uh, electric field component in x direction with respect to the direction of propagation z is equal to the second derivative of electric field component with respect time the standard wave equation whose solution can be written as complex exponential form uh, with omega is the uh, you know uh, frequency uh, of course it's a uh, you know a circular frequency and uh, beta is a constant phase constant we will see what its value will be uh, so here we have uh, finally we also have this relationship from the maxwell equations so using this relationship we get one more uh, you know equation and by substituting ex uh, in this equation where we find the second derivative and in this equation where we relate the ex with hy we will get that hy is a constant root of epsilon by nu naught times ex so magnetic field in y direction is related to the electric field in x direction and also you will get this beta after you put this second derivative you will get beta is root of mu naught epsilon naught and some of you may be knowing that uh, the velocity of light in free space is 1 over under root of mu naught epsilon naught which is also called vp phase velocity and we can clearly see that beta is inversely proportional to the phase velocity so this this much we did last time and based on this we will define now one more important quantity if you see that electric field in x direction okay uh, and magnetic field in y direction at y if we take the ratio so let's try to first of all understand this ratio is not i am saying similar but equivalent to uh, a ratio of voltage by current right because voltage is related to electric field and current is related to magnetic field intensity and you know we already have derived this hy is uh, e naught uh, so under root of epsilon naught by nu naught ex so ex by hy will be simply under root of nu naught by epsilon naught and it has a special uh, symbol as well as name it's called intrinsic impedance intrinsic impedance of free space in fact for free space you already know the epsilon naught and mu naught values this almost comes out to be 377 ohm it's its unit is voltage per ampere volts per ampere ohm okay that is also the reason we call it impedance okay and uh, beta 
which we uh, just now express it as okay i have here one typo here it's beta by omega sorry okay beta by omega beta by omega is 1 by uh, vp so we can write beta as omega under root of mu naught epsilon naught okay so these are some very important relationships which will be used you know again and again at this point i would like to recall uh, to those of you who attended the classes regularly at one point we wrote a wave equation in very simple form i will write that uh, the laplacian of electric field is equal to some gamma square of times the magnetic field okay just go back to our notes you will find it uh, we have done this when we started electromagnetic plane waves and this gamma if you if you look there in the book also it is given you can see the book of leo also this gamma is under root of j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon okay <clears throat> and at that time we wrote this as alpha plus j omega sorry sorry alpha plus some j beta now why i am writing it again this beta is actually the same thing the beta here okay so at a simple observation is suppose if you write here gamma square that will be alpha square minus beta square plus 2 alpha beta and that will be equal to j omega mu sigma minus omega square mu epsilon since uh, if you see our previous wave equation which we solved there is uh, you go back here if you look at these wave equations the solution therein also uh, there is no complex term there is no imaginary term here the second derivative of ex okay so this alpha is zero actually because beta cannot be zero see if alpha and beta both are zero then gamma is zero but why alpha should be zero because uh, sorry it is here j because this is the imaginary term imaginary term has to be zero okay so so what is left to us is this minus beta square is minus omega square mu epsilon or beta square is omega square mu epsilon so you again get the same thing so if you recall at that time we defined these two terms actually alpha is called attenuation constant attenuation constant and this beta is called phase constant radians per meter and you can see the relationship also this beta is related to you can write omega by vp okay omega is angular frequency and vp is the phase velocity and in wave equation form also if you see this uh, exponential uh, complex wave equation omega is written with time and whatever is written with time that is uh, accounted for the frequency term and the other term is the phase term wherein the beta comes in if you take the real part of this ex you will get e naught cos of omega t minus beta c so you can see this beta accounts for the phase change in the waveform okay whereas this attenuation alpha you will see later on that will enter somewhere here okay which attenuates the signal uh, so that we will see when there is a lossy media so usually we free space uh, is called also the lossless media uh, medium for electromagnetic waves this is the another reason for it. And now I have at my disposal different colors so I can maybe do a little bit justice or I will just copy the figure from the book. So rather than figure I have this beautiful uh, one this one website which 
shows these applets of uh, electromagnetic waves. So here you can see that uh, I will uh, I will only show electric field component. So I will click here. So this is the electric field component, right? And uh, suppose this is our x-axis. Okay, Th that is the variation of electric field component is varying upon x-axis. जो ऊपर की तरफ डायरेक्शन है वो मान लो एक्स एक्सीज है एंड नाउ आई विल शो द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दिस इज द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड लेट्स से दैट इट वेरीज अलॉन्ग द वाई एक्सीज नाउ द डायरेक्शन ऑफ यू नो द वेव प्रोपोगेशन इज अलॉन्ग जेड एक्सीज विच इज शोइंग हियर ई एम वेव विलॉज डायरेक्शन नाउ आई विल प्ले इट सी सो दिस इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल इलस्ट्रेशन that magnetic field varies along uh, y axis electric field varies along uh, x axis which is upwards and direction of transmission is z axis which you can take as this uh, the axis uh, which is shown according to this arrow em wave velocity direction okay so this is a beautiful illustration of uh, how em wave propagates in free space <coughs> so with this i think uh with this i completed the remaining part of the previous lecture and now i will upload a further video series uh you know about the other topics especially we will be first covering uh, something called boundary conditions uh that is when so, so till now we were working in uh, free space abhi tak hum free space mein the ab hum suppose hamare paas ek yahan se free space hai and uh, on this side we have सपोज इट इज मेटल यहां पर ये स्ट्राइक कर रहा है इस मेटल सरफेस को देन वॉट विल हैपन वेन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज इंसिडेंट ऑन दिस सरफेस राइट सो वॉट विल हैपन एट द बाउंड्रीज एंड वॉट विल बी द वेरिएशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड हाउ विल द वे क्वेश्चन बिहेव ओके सो दिस अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक सी अवर गोल इज फाइनली समथिंग कॉल्ड वेव गाइड ये हमारा गोल है फाइनली वेव गाइड ऐसे थ्री डायमेंशनल मटेरियल होता है हॉलो इसकी सरफेस जो है मेटेलिक होती है ओके सरफेस और मेटेलिक एंड द वेव इज इंसिडेंट लाइक दिस एंड वी विल सी दैट व्हेन वेव इज इंसिडेंट ऑन द मेटल इट गेट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड यू माइट हैव स्टडीड दिस इन ईएमएफ कोर्स आल्सो ओके then we need to uh, you know uh, study various uh, properties and behavior of em waves through these wave guides this is the very fundamental thing in uh, you know microwave engineering and this also prepares us for the lab uh, now of course lab can't be now held offline we are also finding some good solution for it how we can conduct some online experiments which will give the good feel of you know microwaves uh, and the devices so now uh, this much for this lecture and uh you know after this i will upload another lecture uh, regarding the boundary conditions thank you